Country glides and flashing across the sky Like the swiftest arrow whizzing from a bow Like a mighty cannonball he seems to fly You'll hear about him everywhere you go The time will come when everyone will know the name of Canyon <laughs> long dry spell on the western range. A drought means disaster to ranchers and danger of death to all animals, especially the wild animals. When drought devastates his valley, champion, king, and protector of his wild horse herd searches desperately for new sources of water that they may live. that wild bunch hard. They got hardly any spunk left. How much spunk would you have if you was close to dying of thirst? <laughs> Funny world, ain't it? Here's his dry spell. Worse than 20 years. Killing all the range critters from jackrabbits up, ruining the ranchers. But us? Gonna make us rich. Suits me that way. Hey, Molson. There's that wild mare I've been wanting. And we can get her. The big stallion ain't around. I guess we got time. As long as we don't run into trouble with him. If I'd shot, we could have the whole country nosing around. Uh-oh. Here comes Baggett. Come on. Ah. Ah. This isn't where you're supposed to be. Sorry, boss. We'll get on it right away. Well, step on it. I'll be back from town in no time. Yeah. for a needle in a haystack, isn't it, Uncle Sandy? Yeah, it's worse. Let's see what he's up to. Hey, that sounds like Champ. It is. And he's excited about something. So that's what it was. 
somebody tried to steal one of your herd, you wanted me to know. <laughs> We could catch the hombre that did that. Well, it isn't exactly a crime to rope wild horses, Ricky. You did a swell job, Rebel. Tell Rebel thank you for bringing us, Jim. I guess I'll ride, Champ. Tony will go home by himself. What's got into him? Champ! You mean you won't let me ride you? That's what it looks like. Uncle Sandy, that's the first time he wouldn't let me ride him. You think he's mad at me? Oh, I wouldn't say that, Ricky. Seems like he's got something on his mind. But he's never done it before. Something must be wrong. Well, it might be on account of the drought. You know, he's bound to be worried about his herd not getting enough water to live on. That must be it. And he just didn't feel like going for a ride. Come on, Uncle Sandy. We better find that lost river. Sight. Better than he thought he'd be. Bound to. She's probably scared to let him go faster than a walk. Well, if she ain't scared now, she sure will be. That coyote howl of yours in good shape? Listen. Here they come now. My goodness, what's that, Mr. Bandit? Coyotes. They're getting mighty dangerous because of this drought. Would they attack us? Might. Tried to pull down the stagecoach horses just a couple of days ago. never howl in the daytime. Well, maybe this one doesn't know the rules, Ricky. Or else he's crazy with the heat. He's way over there. Let's see if we can find him. I never found one yet when I wanted to. But we might as well try. It's a dry spell that's got him desperate, like everything else, including the people. You ask me, you couldn't have picked a worse time to come out west and try ranching. But I didn't pick a time, Mr. Baggett. It happened my brother died and left me the ranch when I had no choice. Well, if you ask me, Miss Hilliard, you could do a lot better by selling the ranch. You could find a buyer. I've just got to make a go of it. Some coyotes ain't gonna bother us anymore. Hope the outlaws don't either. Outlaws? Yeah, some of them Jasper's been pulling raids lately. Well, here's where we stop being coyotes and start being outlaws. Here, Ricky.
use, Rebel. Come on. It's Abe Hilliard's sister. Oh, we'll get her inside. I'll take care of the team. Rebel, go find Ricky. <laughs> I'm all right, Ricky, now. Really, I am. Now I know why they call it the Wild West. Gracious, what a reception. Well, it's not like this every day, Miss Hilliard. Most of the time, nothing happens, except once in a while. <laughs> Are you really going to try and run the ranch yourself? Well, it may seem absurd, but I've got to, Mr. North. At least I've got to try. I've been telling her she ought to sell out if she can find a buyer. I'm afraid Baggett's right, Miss Hilliard. This isn't a very good ranch. Well, that's very kind of you both, but I just have to stay here. Uncle Sandy, tell Miss Hilliard about the drought. Well, Mr. Baggett's already explained, but isn't there a chance it might rain? No, not this time of year. The only chance is a lost river. The lost river? Well, it may sound far-fetched, but there's a legend about an underground river. Why, it's history. The Indians say that long ago there was a big earthquake, and the ground opened up, and a river that used to be here got well, sort of swallowed. It's not history, Ricky. It's a legend, something that might have happened, but there's no way of proving it. Well, if that's true and someone found the river, I suppose it would make a big difference. It would make the difference between life and death for this whole valley. I don't put much stock in that yarn myself. Well, I know, but we have to keep on trying. Are you going to stay on as foreman, Baggett? Well, there ain't much left to be foreman of. Cal was all sold off to pay Abe Hilliard's bank loan. Oh, but you will stay, Mr. Baggett. I can afford to pay you for a while, that is. Well, at least I'll work my month out. That's a good idea. Well, if there's anything you need, Miss Hilliard, please don't hesitate to call on us. And just pray that we'll be lucky and find that river. I will, and thank you both. Come on, Rebel. Oh, Mr. Baggett, I don't see too well without my glasses. Just thought, if you want to sell the ranch, tell her I know I might buy it. Pay you a fair price. But I'm afraid I don't want to sell, Mr. Baggett. Sure, but, well, you never can tell. You know, Molson, I'll bet that old girl's just about ready to hightail it back to Boston. Maybe. We could have made sure if Sandy North hadn't busted in. How'd it go? She don't scare as easy as I expected. She wants to keep her ranch. She ain't got any idea about us finding the water, has she? How could she? Only the three of us know that that river's under the Hilliard place. Well, why won't she sell? Don't rightly know some reason of her own, but I aim to fix it so she will. You got to. If we own this ranch, we'll practically own every ranch in the valley. They all got to come to us for water. You don't say. You're going to start doing the thinking and giving the orders? No. This fella gets anxious. Well, thought... quit getting anxious. Okay. Like I say, she don't scare. But I found out she's as good as blind without her specs. Yeah? And I found out a way to get her plumb discouraged. Hey, what's that? <laughs> Mighty close to that water. Too close. I ain't got a good smell of it yet, but if he does, it could mean trouble. It's practically on top of it. It's enough for him. <laughs> you should have shot him between the eyes. Yeah? And what would have happened when Rick and North came looking for him and found him dead? It's good enough to scare him off. When do we go to work on the old lady? Tomorrow. First, I gotta get rid of her specs.
Well, it's not deep, Ricky, but... Ricky, that's a bullet wound. But... but who'd want to shoot him? Well, I don't know who or why, but I aim to find out. Get me the ointment, will you? Champ, this ain't gonna bother you too much, but you use good sense coming to get doctored. You sure it's not bad, Uncle Sandy? Well, the bullet wound itself isn't too bad, but the fact that anybody did it is. You know, we've got more than the Lost River to look for when we go out tomorrow. You bet. I sure hope those eye exercises are gonna help. Oh, I'm sure they will. Oh, by the way, Miss Hilliard, the man who wants to buy the ranch? Yes? He said he'd like to talk to you, even if you don't want to sell right now. Well, I'd be glad to talk to him, but I don't want to sell. I'll go fetch him. Oh, Mr. Baggett, before you go, would, would you hand me my glasses? Well, sure, ma'am. Where are they? Oh, I, I thought I left them right here on the table. No, ma'am, I, I don't see them on the table. Oh, I'm always misplacing things, but I could have been certain. Well, I'm sure they'll turn up somewhere. Oh, yes, of course. I'll find them. I'll go get the man and bring him here. All right. Oh, if something should happen to them. Hey, Molson. He's found it. gone crazy? Stellan came back and found the water like I thought he would. All right then, Molson, you stay here. This time, shoot to kill. You come back to the ranch with me, Ledoux. Hilliard, you stop being silly. The world hasn't come to an end. But it might almost as well. Is that you, Mr. Baggett? No, it's me, Ricky. Somebody shot Champ. And we're looking for... That'll be all right. Something wrong, Miss Hilliard? Oh, Ricky, I'm a foolish old woman, and I'm going to sell the ranch. You are? What made you change your mind? Well, I lost my glasses. That seems like a ridiculous thing to say, but it brought me to my senses. You see, Ricky, I'm almost blind. You are? It's because of my work. The doctor said, because I was a dressmaker, I must live outdoors. And when I inherited the ranch, I thought it was a wonderful chance. But now I'm going to sell. You mean somebody wants to buy this ranch? Mr. Baggett says he has a man. But if there's a chance of getting your sight back... Oh, it's hopeless. What with coyotes and outlaws and drought. And now this. You better talk to Uncle Sandy. I'll find him. I wonder what he's up to. I don't know. We'd better move fast. You found your glasses, Miss Hilliard? Oh, Mr. Baggett. No. No, I didn't. Well, they're turned up somewhere. This here's Joel Ledoux. Come about buying the ranch. How do you do? Howdy, ma'am. Mr. Baggett, I've decided to sell the ranch. You have? Well, then, the only question is you and Mr. Ledoux will have to get together on surprise. Here, have a chair, Ledoux. Thank you. Sandy, you want 
go up and talk to Miss Hilliard. She's gonna sell her ranch, but she's got trouble with her eyes, and she ought to keep it. Jim! Somebody's shooting at him again! They're shooting from up there. You go over and see if you can't help Champ. That's what this is all about. Well, it's a little more than a place is worth, but we might as well settle it now. All I need is your signature on this bill of sale here. But I can't see to sign anything without my glasses. Well, uh, let me have another look for them. Must be around here somewhere. Here they are. Must have been on the desk all the time. Oh, thank goodness for that, at least. Oh, what a relief. Oh, you might as well sign it. I read it over and there are no catches in it. What's that? North. He's got Molson with him. He must have got Wise. Now well, stand him off. I'll get this side. What's the matter? Whatever's going on in there, I can't shoot while she's in there. I know. Rebel, go on. Go get all this money for the water rights, I'll be rich. Well, it's only a fair price. Well, if it hadn't been for you and Ricky. No, <laughs> oh, shucks. We didn't do it. It was Champ. <laughs> well, I guess you up a little too, Rebel. Come on. 